So if you are still watching this video after that weird intro, hello, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and in today's sewing vlog I'm going to make my Halloween outfits. So I started by making the orange dress and I'm going to cut the skirt, what will be half a circle skirt, out of this piece of white fabric. But I first had a mandatory hugging session with my dog because I was on the floor and normally when I sit on the floor I'm hugging. So she was a bit confused. So then I cut half a circle skirt out of this white fabric. This is an old tablecloth that actually has quite a few stains on it. I was planning on throwing it away until this idea suddenly popped into my head. So for the top part, I copied my t-shirt. If you have seen videos on this channel before, you know that I don't use patterns because patterns remind me of mats and Julie doesn't like mats. Okay, so I copied the shape of this shirt and then I'm going to make the cleavage. The cleavage is quite low, but you are wearing a shirt under it, so it doesn't matter how low you make it. So I made it go quite low. I said low way too many times, I'm sorry. And then I cut this piece out and I'm going to copy it to make the back piece. But I didn't copy the neckline because I don't want the back piece to go that low. Okay, so now these pieces are white and I need them to be orange. So I'm going to use this pot full of magic powder to turn them orange. Just a little content warning, I turned this into a real mess. So this is actually meant to put in your washing machine, but I have too much trust issues to do that. So I'm going to use this pot to dye it by hand. So I first knocked the powder loose in my little pot. And I'm going to pour all of this bloody like contents into the big pot that I will use for dyeing the clothes. After this, I put the clothes damp into this and then I started to whisk it around because the package told me to do that. Well, not this package. This package told me to put this in my washing machine, but another package for hentai told me to do that. So I did that. And then I realized that it started to look a little eerie. It made me feel like I was cleaning up a murder. Also didn't help that I was listening to a true crime podcast at the time and then I realized that I spilled a lot on my floor and then I started cleaning up my floor and this really gave me the feeling that I was cleaning up a murder scene. I turned this into a real mess but the clothes turned orange so that made me happy. The coloring did what it had to do. And after around 20 minutes of stirring this around, I squeezed all of the remaining water out of these and I'm going to rinse them out. So then I was a little worried because this turned out more red than it was orange, but the rinsing out, I rinsed it out in hot water. It took off a little bit of the color So it all came good at the end. And then I put it into my washing machine for just a normal cycle. And then the dyeing was done. Then I loaded my sewing machine with an orange color. And then I set the dress together. I first zigzagged around the edges to prevent them from unraveling. And now I'm going to roll up the sides and sew this with a straight stitch so it looks nice and finished. I also copied my front part or my back part to be sure that these straps were as even as possible. Then I set the top of these together and I'm going to sew the two top parts and one side part because I'm going to add the zipper on the side. Then I pinned this top to the skirt and sewn this together by using a straight stitch. And now your dress is almost finished, you only need to add in a, a zipper. And I also shorted my dress in a bit because I found this model a bit too long. So now my orange dress is finished 
and I need a shirt to put under the dress. I have this white shirt, it's one of my old work shorts, but it's white and that's yellow. So I hope that this paint is going to fix that. This is a hand dye, so the instructions are a little different. You have to do it in boiling water, well, I don't like that much. And you also have to use some salt, what doesn't bother me. And at first really questions if this was going to work, but actually this worked a lot better because it made so much less of a mess. But I don't really know if that's to blame on the paint or just on me. It's probably to blame on me because the other paint is also not meant for hand dye. Okay, so then I stirred my shirt around in it for around 20 minutes until it was yellow enough and then I cleaned it out and wait until it dried and now I have this yellow shirt that I can combine with my orange dress. So here I am showing off the yellow shirt. I actually hope that this survives the party because I really like it. Normally I never wear yellow because I'm blonde and I always thought that would suit me but I love this shirt and I would love to wear it more. Let's hope it survives. And now I'm going to do my makeup. I will spare you from making a makeup tutorial because I really suck at doing makeup. I just do some foundation, then I do some powder because I have other stuff, but I don't have it here right now where I'm filming this video. And I just added the red lips. So yeah, baddest, baddest makeup tutorial ever. I will wear that batch with proud. And then I wanted my hair to be black because the doll's hair is black. So I bought one of this hairspray colorings that I bought in a Halloween kit shop. And the package warned me that it, this could stay in my hair forever. So I was a little bit scared, but no worries. I washed it out and I'm back to being blonde again. And black hair actually suits me a lot better than I thought it would. That's another lesson that I learned today. So I asked my friend if she wanted to spray my hair black and she was like, yes, I would love to. So here you see the footage of that. And then I'm going to end this video with some more footage of me running around a playground. I was really grateful that I have this long pink jacket because this covers most of the outfits. And that's great for if you want to take pictures in a public place because people stare at you. And I cannot even blame them. Uh, this jacket, fun fact, I actually bought this jacket on my trip to South Korea. I have been to South Korea and it was the most amazing trip. So I would advise it to everyone. I will add some pictures. It's the most amazing trip. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you next time.